Good morning, everybody. I am Kendra. This is my channel, Kendra Full Joy. This is this mess here is what I'm doing today. I am going to do color and create with us at You Rock Art. That's Rosemary's You Rock Art channel. It's a mouthful, so I'm going to put it in the description below. My collage. I'm going to create. So so far, all I've done is color. And this time I'm going to make a little, and I know it's late, but I've got all of this St. Patrick's Day stuff that I didn't use. I'm going to make a quick collage. And I've got washi tape, twine, um, scraps of paper, buttons. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I would do, but I left that out. It's actually diamond painting stuff. I've got some shiny bling and some, oh, what are these? These are those like confetti. It actually says that on the bottle, Kendra, confetti. <laughs> and then I've got paper clips and punch stuff. What do you call those things? You call them something. I don't know. There's some more twine in the colors I was hoping to use. So the base is going to be, this is a kind of an iridescent stiff cardstock, and I'm just going to use this I should only use half because I could get it done better. And I might go ahead and cut this in half. I'm not sure yet. So that's my story. If you've never been here, oh, I've got stickers too. Lots and lots of stickers. If you've never been here before, I hope that you feel welcome enough to subscribe and keep coming back. I am not artistic. I try. So there's that. If I had to say things I do well in my channel, on my channel, it would probably be when I choose to organize, which isn't enough, and maybe baking, cooking kind of stuff. But I do a little of everything. I love to do grocery hauls, and I love to do thrift store hauls. That's fun. So anyway, welcome if you're new, and if you're not new, welcome back, friends. I love each and every one of you, and I miss you when I don't see you in a while, and I get excited when I see you again. I know we're all busy. So I'm going to get started, and I'll show you as I go along. Thanks for joining us. Me, us, me, myself, and I. <laughs> Bye. I'll be right back. So since I started, this has kind of morphed into being March and St. Patrick's Day because I feel like I don't know enough to do with St. Patrick's Day. So, so far it's, it's maybe half done, maybe a third. I'm basically going to get one more big thing here and then start filling in the spaces for this collage. And so I've got, you know, a garden going here, sort of, kind of. I'm trying to do some basic colors, you know. Uh, so white, black, gold, green, orange, in different shades, and lots of bling. And so then I, I put a rainbow. You know, it's the only rainbow I had, and it was in one of my cardstock. I still can't come up with that name. It's not cardstock. It's where's the package? I'll tell you. It's die cuts. <laughs> That's enough. Mommy's here. <sighs> a little silly. I think somebody came up the driveway. Not anybody for me. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, so I just ate a chicken sandwich. I could do without that again. It was the ones I bought yesterday. They were the round, pressed out, breaded chicken. And I've gotten picky about my chicken in my older age, I think. Anyway, here's another thing. Sunday, that means, oh, this goes up tomorrow morning. Well, you'll have missed if you didn't get a reminder. <laughs> um, I hear the dog banging on the uh, bell at the back door, so I best let him out right now. All right, what I was going to say is, and Ireland reminded me of that, you know, Ireland, England, Scotland, Wales, those <laughs> kind of countries remind me of uh, St. Patrick's Day for whatever reason. They don't celebrate them all the way that the other celebrates them, if at all. But anyway, um, Call the midwife tonight if you're into that. PBS, I think it comes on at 7 or 8. I'm never sure. And it's different in different parts of the country. I think Central Time Zone in the United States gets it an hour earlier than Pacific Standard Time. You know, like we don't get Young Sheldon until 8. You all get it at 7 if you watch Young Sheldon. Okay, so I was putzing around the house and everything, and I remembered, you know, that... Um, 
called The Midwife was on tonight, and I was thinking about something that happened probably just the first or second season, and I had already heard it from an elder midwife here in our area, and she said, oh, the Triple H enema, Triple H enema, and I'd never heard that term before, and I said, what? And she said, oh, don't worry about it. She She's um one of the senior midwives in our area that is lesser of a teacher and more of a, um, I don't know what she is. She's just a midwife. You know, she's a great midwife for those who use her, but she's not a teacher. Other than speaking to big groups, I'm digging myself a hole. She's fine. Anyway, I had never heard of Triple H Enema in labor. And she would not tell me what it was. And I don't know why I didn't go home and you know, Google it, but I just forgot about it. And so I was watching it, um, call the midwife and one of the elder midwives, well, it was the forties when it started. And one of them said, Oh, she's in labor. Hit her with a triple H enema, high, hot, and hell of a lot. If those of you that have never had an enema in labor, oh, there's a treat. You're already suffering. <laughs> And here comes somebody with a bag of hot, soapy water for you. <laughs> Aren't you glad I went off the tracks, off the rails, actually, on this? I just love that show called The Midwife. So much of it is realistic for the way women were cared for uh, during a time in history and a place in history where they didn't have the option of going to the hospital because they had their war going on. And at the time, we went to the hospital in the 40s because... Um, in the 30s, mostly, because we didn't have, you know, our injured soldiers in our hospitals. They were overseas in the hospitals. Anyway, um, back to this. I'm going to keep working on it. Okay, I'm just about done. Look at this mayhem of doing this that I have to clean up. Oh, boy. Okay, so anyway, I never leave well enough alone. I was pretty much done, I thought. And then I thought, well, why don't I melt one of these shapes? And so I tried to do, you know, the orange, the gold, the green, the white, and we'll see how this turns out. And if it does turn out, where will I stick it on this thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'll show you when I pick it up, see how it turns out. Okay, I cut around it and tried to make it smaller, and even so, there really isn't anywhere to put it. The reason that it's bumpy in the middle is I didn't let it melt all the way. I was getting some smoke over here, and we've got real sensitive uh, smoke detectors in the house. And the alarm isn't just in the house, but it's on the property. And my husband and the neighbor are sitting outside because it's sunny right now in lawn chairs. And I thought, do I really want both of them in here? <laughs> no, no, I do not. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, that's why it got bumpy, because I left some that weren't quite melted. Otherwise, it would be totally smooth. All right, so if you've never seen those before, you get shapes. You put the shapes down. You put whatever color that you're, let's see, what did I do with the colors? Oh, here they are. I'll show you this part too. You probably already know, but maybe somebody doesn't. So I've got a thing. These are all little like wax pieces. I've got lots of colors and you pick what colors or color you want and you put it in this little melty, whoops, which I have stuck to the thing. <laughs> this is what was smoking. Um, I need to clean this off badly. So anyway, you put them in there and then you, uh, Put a candle underneath here which i did and i held it above and i every once in a while i'll do this with it you know so when it's melted you pour it on whatever you want to pour it on you know paper whatever it's not obviously not clothes and stuff like that and i was gonna use this it's tree of life it's the closest i could get to something irish and i've got different heads that are interchangeable with the handles and I just pick one. And you don't have to. You can use just a plain flat. I have that too that's not got a design on it. And um, you like seal envelopes with it and stuff like that. Old school type. I would never put one of these through the actual mail if I ever used these. Wow. 
If I ever use these, I just put them inside of another envelope so that it doesn't fall off or gum up. If it gets hot, I'm afraid it could get soft and mess up machines. You know what I mean? Oh, and it comes with this guard to protect whatever you're working on. Because this is really hot. Bad, bad hot. You don't, you don't want kids to play with it. Not just because it's fire, but because it's a burn. Okay, here it is. I don't, I don't know that it's my finest work, but it is what it is. So I tried to do above here mostly St. Patrick's Day. And then as I got down here, I started thinking, well, spring. Because the only collage that I've done so far this season has been Easter. I want to do spring and St. Patrick's Day. So I took a tag. I put the Irish flag colors in there. I did washi tape for the flag colors. Oh, there's a hot peppermint mocha right there. <laughs> <laughs> let's explore gold buttons what is what's this one says be good oh I can't read it here be your own hero okay I had a rainbow one rainbow in my entire sticker collection so I did the colors of white and gold and green and some sparkle things and some stickers. This says, I find the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. And that's Thomas Jefferson. Isn't that true? And then we've got some hearts and some confetti and happy life. I don't know what that's from. I, I hope it's nothing inappropriate. <laughs> like that there beer we'll just call that a um, shamrock shake though that's what it is it's a shamrock shake this is my happy place and it's the garden and it's got a little lucky here and what does this say uh, you are a wonder woman some little shamrocks no clover because they've got the four leaves I think this is supposed to be jonquil and that is March flower of the month so I thought that was appropriate I had some green buttons, so here's my little garden. I've got a butterfly, some boots, some more sh uh, clover, more buttons. That's supposed to be dirt, rocks, garden growing, butterfly. This is my happy place. I think I already said that. More, that's a pitiful looking rainbow. Maybe it's supposed to be like a fall waterfall or something I don't know like sunglasses because you're out working and then I stacked up some things to make a I don't know what a picture and a vase and blah 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 and that is my collage so I'm I'm not the best at collages but I did have fun doing this and I just need to clean up the mess that's not the fun part at all <laughs> And so if you liked what you saw and decided what you liked and you have not yet subscribed or commented or left a thumbs up, I would love it if you would do that. I'm going to show you what's doing outside. Look at that sunshine. We had a big deer outside a little while ago. Okay, so I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful, wonderful start of your week. Bye, everyone.